Have you ever wondered what kind of license is required to drive a Formula One car? In this video, we will answer that question and understand the license requirements for an F1 driver. Let's get started. Racing in F1 requires a special type of driving license called the FIA Super License. The requirements to obtain an FIA Super License are higher than that of a road car. It can take up to three years to become eligible to apply for the license. Let's look at the basic requirements. There are six criteria which must be met in order to obtain a license. Driver must be at least 18 years old. A driver must be at least 18 years of age at the time of their first Formula One race weekend. This rule, often called the Max Verstappen rule, was introduced after Verstappen drove his first race for Toro Rosso in 2015, when he was just 17 years old. This rule was put in place to stop young drivers from being fast-tracked into the sport without gaining the necessary experience. Competition License The next requirement is that the driver holds an international grade A competition license. This license can be obtained by racing in lower level national racing competitions. Valid Driving License Apart from the competition license, a driver will also need to have a valid driving license from their respective country. This license must be clean, having never been suspended or revoked in any way. Theory Test those interested in obtaining a super license have to pass a theory test. This is a test that involves questions about the sporting codes and regulations of F1. It is there to ensure that drivers are well educated and aware about Formula 1. 80% rule The 80% rule establishes the minimum experience requirement. To obtain a license to Formula 1, drivers must complete at least 80% of two full seasons of a single-seater championship. For most drivers, this usually refers to Formula 2 experience but experience from other single-seater events do count towards this requirement. Minimum Points While drivers need to have completed at least 80% of two full seasons, they also need to have achieved at least 40 points over the course of the previous three seasons in a combination of any of the qualifying championships. There is a long list of qualifying motorsports and their associated super license points for each position detailed in this table. As you can see, you really have to be a consistent top 10 driver to accumulate the needed points to qualify for the super license. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, if a driver has accumulated at least 30 points and has been unable to accumulate the 40 points due to circumstances outside their control, the super license may be granted at the discretion of the FIA. Free Practice Super License the Free Practice Super License was introduced in 2019 and is required for drivers that are only participating in the Free Practice sessions on an F1 weekend. This kind of license is a way for F1 teams to give their academy drivers a chance to test in a live F1 session alongside other drivers rather than in private testing. The same age and competition license requirements hold for this Super License, but the driver only needs to have amassed 25 points in qualifying series over the last three years or have completed at least six races in F2. Super License Penalty Points If a driver accrues 12 penalty points, his license will be suspended for the following event, following which the 12 points will be removed from the license. Penalty points remain on a driver's super license for 12 months and are given out for violating FIA rules. Let's look at an example. Here we can see that Yuki Sonoda accumulated 8 penalty points the most among any F1 driver in 2021. So, how did Sonoda accumulate these points? Let's take a look. He got 1 point for violating track limits, 1 point for impeding a driver during qualifying, 2 points for crossing the white line at pit entry, and 4 points for causing collisions. Safety-related incidents have higher point values. As you can see, Nicholas Latifi accumulated 6 points in just 2 incidents, 3 points for not respecting double-waved yellow flags, and three more points for not entering the pit lane as instructed during the safety car period. Hope this video helped you learn about Formula 1 license requirements. Now I want to hear from you. Do you think drivers under the age of 18 should be allowed to compete in Formula 1? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content.